Welcome to the stream, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Iggy Kid on Twitch.tv. And now, introducing your host, from the 16-bit afterlife, weighing in at 273 kilobytes, assisted by the hands and voice of her mortal vessel, Iggy Kid, they are the ghost in the machine, the electric specter! El Fantasma de la Electriciedad! We oh! Hey! Welcome back to the stream. It has been a minute. I took a very long trip for the holidays and then I haven't. Uh, I've, I've honestly just been catching up since I got back. Still kind of behind on stuff, still gonna file my taxes, but I have until April. I just like doing it early to get the refund working. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start 100%ing Paper Mario. I did play through all of Paper Mario on the stream previously before um, Origami King came out, and I played all of Origami King. Uh, but the Thousand Year Door remake is coming out soon. That was the one I couldn't play because I couldn't get it to run. So I figured building up to that, let's uh. Let's go through Paper Mario again, and I'll 100% it this time. Or I'll do my best, you know. I think... I don't think this is one where you can accidentally softlock yourself out of, like, 100%ing it, but we'll find out. Hey, Mal, yeah. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Long time. Alright, we'll do it on four, and I'll just call it, uh... Stream sickle. If I have, I don't have enough space. We'll cut some vowels in there. Stream, stream sickle. Do use a K so that's clear. It's making a K. Stream sickle. All right. Here we go. So yeah, this is this is the beginning of what will be a pretty long journey. It's not like a super long RPG. But 100%ing it takes, I think, 80 to 100 hours, depending on what your pace is like. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, presumably I'll do better this time. Mail call! Gotta come up with voices for these guys. I think I had voices for them the last time I played. I do not remember what they were. Hey, Mario, we got a letter from Princess Beach. I have an okay, Luigi. I'll read it to you, okay? All right, let's eat. I'm throwing a party at my castle today, Mario and Luigi. I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Beach. Nice. This, I, I, I know Thousand Year Door is like the fan favorite, but like nothing's gonna top the original man. All these fun characters, interesting locales. It was just such a strange idea to come out of kind of nowhere. There was a, you know, there was Mario RPG, which was kind of the game before this, but this is just, yeah, such an odd idea. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? That's gonna be the generic toad voice. Just, I hope that's okay. <laughs> wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Hey, uh, Mario. Hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. I already ate way too much. Taking a breather. Well, that's enough of a rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat to the buffet table. Oh, I just ate. I had a sandwich and uh, soup. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Rao's, R-A-O apostrophe S. They make pasta sauce. They started making soup, and it's not cheap, but it's pretty tasty. And I got some on special, so it's a nice treat. 
Welcome to Peach's Castle. This is gonna be the guard toads. Sure. I already talked to you. Uh, yeah. Let me talk to you. Ah, that's the thing that messes me up here. You can't adjust the camera at all. Everything's locked off. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. <laughs> How cute. Oh, welcome, Mario. Last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Good to know, good to know. Ah, hope everybody's doing good. I'm feeling pretty, pretty great, actually. I found out, literally yesterday, I found out that this weekend there's a convention like 40 minutes from my house. So, uh, going to that tomorrow. Technically, it's today. It's the whole weekend, but I didn't find out about it until last night, so. I'm just gonna go there for one day, drive in, drive back. It's like a first year convention, so. Um. They're only open for like eight hours in the middle of the day. But you know, they got some panels, they got a couple voice actor guests, though they're from dubs, so I'm not as familiar. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Tasty. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. Made all my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear, I got so into my cooking that I used up all of my ingredients. There, I have to go shopping. I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food as delicious as taste teas. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. Any secrets? Any secrets? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, I found out because I also found out there's a second game shop in my town. I knew we had one and they're kind of just like, you know, they do the One Piece game, they do the, they do Magic the Gathering Commander, which is like intense. Uh, they do Lorcana now, so I was like, I've been wanting to get into Lorcana. They had the starter deck, so I'm gonna get into that. I'm already pretty stoked. I have a, a deck I'm working on that I think is pretty sweet. It's like a Seven Dwarves royalty deck, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a pretty neat game from everything I've seen. Uh, I, I think what it has over a lot of TCGs is it's very simple. Like, a lot of TCGs, they make the rules very complicated. So it's like a 30-page rule book. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, it's, it's like if attack is on defense, if defense is on attack, attack on attack, defense. There's like so many different variables. But this is like the, the system, very simple, so that the cards can be the complicated part. I like that. All right, let's talk to this guy. Ah, salutations, Mario. You know Frosty here. He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. Princess Peach. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. I think that makes sense, Siberian. Uh, missing the timing is much more an issue with complexity than attack versus defense for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah! I mean, that's the thing, is that it's also, like, there's a million phases in, um, Lorcana. It's literally just, like, there's basically a ready phase and then a play phase, because it's, it's really not super interactive. I'll, I'll get into it in a bit, but it's basically you only... You can't just be randomly attacked. You have to basically make yourself vulnerable to get the victory points you need to win. So it's like this push-pull of like, do I go for the victory points and then get hit, or do I hold back so I can get more victory points, you know? Soft once per turns. What does that mean? Any soft rules, I'm always like, ooh, boy. Ooh, jeez. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Oh, hello. Well, greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. 
I come from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Yeah, I'm a nomad mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. Does Princess Peach have a special man in her life? She's such a lovely lady. Whoever she loves must be very special indeed. Do you know of a place called Shooting Star Summit? It's near this castle. It's such a romantic place. It's definitely the best place for a date. Trust me, if you ought to, you know. Ask the princess to go there. Just a thought. Well, today we have guests from Dry Dry Outpost, the Shiver Region, Koopa Village. So many folks here, I can't keep track of them all. Where might you be from? Oh, you're Mario. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. Do you know of a place called Shing Star Oh, wait, I already talked to you. We're walking around. Hello, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you. I think that might be one of the specials. Well, we'll find out later. I'm here on behalf of lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with frost tea. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. Wonderful indeed. Not opening. Guessing I'm not going to get through here either. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in here at the moment. I do love how the Koopas map map map. Do it again. Yeah. Map 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 map. Oh, oh, there's a response. You can only use the effect once per turn, but it's for the one card, and if you send the card back to hand and resummon, it basically counts as a new instance of the card, and you can use the effect again. Wow, yeah. That seems very easy to exploit. Which I'm sure, that's the thing is, Lorcana is, uh, the third set is literally about to release in a couple weeks. So it's still super new and I'm sure it'll get some like really complicated OP stuff eventually. But at this point, it's still pretty, pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. I'm getting in on the ground floor, which, you know, trying to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic or anything right now, it's like... Bit of a tall task, because there's a lot to catch up on, and it's pretty complicated. Hi, I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. Relax, my friend. It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah... Uh, so pleasant. Here we go. Just love these. It's so clever to have the paper. So it's just one flat polygon with a different texture on each side. And then you got the, uh, you got the 3D spaces. Oh yeah, they made that, that like way simpler version of Yu-Gi-Oh now, right? Yeah, at, the, at this point, it's like, there's what, like, 70,000 Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Gi cards or something? That might be too much. There's like tens of thousands, at the very least. Um, Lorcana with this new set, is gonna have, what? 6, 648? There's, only, there's 216 per set. Oof, yeah, that's too much. Can't keep up. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. That's the thing is, I was a pretty young kid when Magic came out, and then I was a little older when Yu-Gi-Oh came out, so I probably could have kept up with Yu-Gi-Oh. But even at the beginning, it was like, ah, it's a very loose system, you know? There's so much happening. Uh, what am I gonna do for Peach? Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. 
Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh no. Oh no! What's happening? Not the trees! My polygons. Let's see, I think there's dialogue about it, but truly the smartest plan Bowser has ever had. What do you do to kidnap the princess? Just, just put your castle right under her castle, just steal it right away. Why not? What's stopping you? Oh, this is, yo, you can't do that? You need zoning permits? Pfft, get out of here. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Oh, jeez. Let me try that again. Wrong time, low sea, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. So you got my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ah, this castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Oh, what? It's Mario. Oh, what a shock. Ha, ah, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past. But this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy. Let's go! Mario, you can do it. Thanks. Get him. All right, I don't even have the action commands yet. Whoops. Just gonna hit him for practice. Bip. I think that was a little late. That would have been perfect. I feel like you wouldn't want to jump on Bowser anyways. He's got all them spikes. Good old Mario. Always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Right? I love the animations in this game. So nice. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I had to switch up the voice a little bit. The other one was crunching a little too hard. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Also, I'm clipping the mic a lot. Sorry. I get him. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Get him. No. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh, jeez. He's freaking dead. He freaking killed him. Oh, no. Mario. Get up. Yes. Oh, yeah. I did it. 
I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Whoa, there he goes. Oh no! Mario! How could you do this, you king of the Koopa House? <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, the main thing, uh, the main problem with Alorcana right now is just it's really hard to get it. It, like, sells out so fast. The f I was, like, shocked I was able to find starter decks. Prologue. A plea from the stars. Um. <laughs> I was actually able to find both starter decks. Gotta find some stuff from the first set. Because that's only going to become harder and harder to find. But. Ugh. Really, I'm not trying to invest too much as it is now, each starter deck comes with a booster pack, so I have two booster packs, two starter decks, that's plenty enough to hang out and play it for a while, and then maybe invest some more later on. Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. Oh, but Bowser has a style rod. Now I admire the Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power! Ooh, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Scumbella. It really sounds like something fell somewhere around here. No, oh, who could that be? This red shirt, his head, and his mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be. But it, the real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up. Come on, I'm an Adam. Oh no, he won't wake up. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goomba! Goomba Rio! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eld Star, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. Sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Switching over to... Switching over to Obi-Wan Kenobi for him. I realize suddenly. Makes sense. Good morning. Oh, Mario. I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Now this place, this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh, Let's start with a mustache. Saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit. No, I saw nothing like that. I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder Mario, uh, maybe just had a dream? Though, 
maybe not. Uh, it could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. Uh, they live in Starhaven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Starhaven, so that makes sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Here we go! We through. It's locked. Give me some goodies. Meh. Anything else? That's for later. It's a coin! Howdy, Mario. Eh, yeah, feeling better? Eh, yeah, feel free to rest in your house. You what? You have to leave right now? Ah, shooting star summit. Some important, no doubt. Well, I believe that summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot! I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Save the game. Yep. Saved. Oh, hey, Danny. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. We're playing Paper Mario. Oh, land sakes, Mario. So nice to meet you. My, I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. I gave you a voice. Well, I guess I'll talk to you again. Mario, you look better. I'm just so glad. I was really worried about you. Because you were lying there in the forest and you opened your eyes all the whole time. Hey, Mario. I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You know what this means for me to meet you. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been a while since you could tune into here. I haven't streamed in a while. I've just been kind of catching up on stuff after the beginning of the year, so getting back to it. Starting into this. Oh, Mario. Hello, Terry. You may call me Gooba. I'm a Gooba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Gumbaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, you startled me. Uh, yes, Mario, isn't it? Yeah, so you've awakened at last. Good. Knew you'd pull through. They call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so uh, I'm Goompa. Yeah, I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Oh, yeah? Okay, then. Hold on. I know this is where I need to be now. Oh, you know what? I think I have to try and go... Okay, go back out. Oh, Mario! My dad was looking... Or, wait, what did I give him? Oh, Mario! My dad was looking for you! He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town and shoot Star Summit, huh? I wanted to go with you too, you know, but I told me it was too dangerous. I was just Oof. Ooh, what a jab. Hey, sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. Hey, if you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that shooting star summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. But, uh, duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Well, best of luck, Maru. <laughs> My instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hearty one, all right. I was about to come here to ch check on you. Uh, uh, what's that, Daddy? What's that weird flight thing? Weird, you rude little. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Give me Koopa. Humph. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat. 
But no, Mario heard this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous! Lovable! As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Oh, jeez. Is a block. Dang it. <laughs> Mario! You will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> um, he just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Gibby Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? She didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. What? 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 Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach. Again? Oh, unbelievable. Now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Yeah, this could be a problem. Dad, yeah, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Who else could do it? Um, oh, here's an idea. Maybe we could break this block with Koopa's big hammer. Think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Right, go ask him for it, will you? I will. Here we go. Just a quick little trip over to the veranda. Eh, yeah, hmm. What was it? Whoa, jeez. You got Wally Coyote. Ah, my whole veranda. Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tracks. Ah, oh, this music is so good. Oh, my bracky. Oh, who's that? Are you Mario? I remember a great crash of noise and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Hey, did you fall too? You stepped out the door to the air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get old because that block is in the way. This block, uh, this block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Eh, a hammer? Oh, of course. Uh, um, where'd it go? Yeah, I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. In case it must have fallen somewhere over there. Eh, hey, Mario, we'd better look for it. Yep. Give me that heart block. Give me that heart block. I want it. Can't do nothing without a hammer. Hello? Uh, the hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. Uh, if uh, it appears over your head, uh, you can press E to search. Uh, there? No. Here. Yes. Flip. Meh. Coins! I do appreciate a good coin. Some back here. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Guess not. Whoa! You found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer now. And you can hammer. Oh, there we go, Etsy. That's, that's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block to sit our way. Yeah, you can also use the hammer to trees and make them sway. So that stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Neat. Pop. Bit. Coins. I need that currency. I currently need the currency. That's a twofer for you. Uh, I could go further, but uh, don't give it out for free. You know what I'm saying? Coins. What? Right. You got the dolly. Oh, well, now I uh, believe that's the dolly that Gumbari has since you lost. Uh, she'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place. You know, it almost makes one feel like uh, looking around everywhere. Hint, hint. Alright, save. After getting the hammer. And we're moving. What's that? Mm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess uh, we should head for home. Ouch! 
who's there? Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody says foot in here without my permission. Nobody! Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Trooper. Mario, this is Junior Troupe. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bait. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and uh, don't take any loop. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Uh, bop. Bow. Oh, excellent. Good move. Uh, go on. Eh. Alright, I can't. Can't block yet. So we're just gonna kinda trade back and forth for a while. And this is a part of an RPG where it's uh, just kind of going through the motions. Uh, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh yeah. Hey Mario, uh, you've almost got him. Keep it up, bag uh, one. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Trooper Special Attack. Full power. Whoa, that's double damage. It's, I'm getting a little nervous now. JK, I got him. Mario, I was wonderful if Aiden. You get stair points. You get stair points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 stair points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Shoot! I was winged to. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, sign up for a rivalry, but I guess so. Uh, I guess we got one. I guess I did. Sweet. And I'm actually playing with the N64 controller, so. Left C actually means something to me. Shabow! I don't think I can break this one yet. Nope. Need the upgraded hammer for that. And there's like a badge up here. No, it's just a fire flower. Still useful. Heads up, Mario. I see bad Goombas up ahead. Yeah, they're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. Uh, if you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. I do like that they make the distinction between us like, oh, they're Goombas, but they're, they're the bad Goombas. You know, they're, just, they're buddies with Bowser. No, like us, we're the cool guys. Nice. Mm, coins. Oh, I see him. Huzzabow. He uses a spiked Goomba. She's spiked on his head. Yeah, be careful not to jump on him. He'll definitely get hurt. Got him. Yeah, we're kind of going through the motions at this point, because, like, it's really not until after the first boss that you're really in the, uh, really got all of the basic stuff. Hey, listen up, Mario. The enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy to attack one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. Yeah, I'm gonna use these on man. Oh, jeez. Ah, there's like a line, right? Because it's any time that I don't have something to eat before a stream, I regret it because I just end up so hungry. 
But then, anytime I eat too close to stream, I regret it because I'm just like digesting the whole time. I'm just kind of like sluggish. Gotta find that that perfect line of how early to eat before a stream. Someday, I mean, I'm just out of practice streaming in general. I used to do it a lot. I, I was doing it daily for a little while towards the beginning, but I ended up, you know, not having much of a, an effect. I also had a co-host for a while. Man, the stream's been been pretty wild. You know, it's gone through a lot of changes. Um, and we're actually coming up on the my fourth stream anniversary. Granted, uh, the official stream anniversary is like the <laughs> towards the middle of March, but. I guess Twitch counts when you became affiliate as your stream anniversary, so. I'll probably stream on that day, but then stream again for my real stream anniversary. And everywhere, kids, here I am. Thanks to Mario, here I made it back, all right. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Uh. Was to give, I'm gonna need to remember because he's gonna become a bigger character here. Was uh, he's dead? His dead was just kind of this. So it was it was that, but it was higher up. Okay, uh, Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you in the veranda were just playing gun. Goomba, I was very very worried about you. Really worried. Sherry kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, uh, before I forget, I have decided to give you something, Mario. Wait a minute. Huh? Hey, that dolly you've got. There's the one Goombaria last. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? No. Yeah, okay. It's my dolly, 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 your block. Thank you so much. I'm so happy, my sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again? Here's a present for me. I got a pretty glitter. Uh, take this too. Hey, thanks. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And uh, I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. Starting to show too, I'm getting big muscles. Agubario's head is hard as a rock now. <laughs> he does his head buck move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Gumbaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa. We're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. Got the power jump badge. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. First, right, first, put badges on and take them off as a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use the badges? It, no, I'm good. You better listen, Mario. This is really important. Could I please give you a brief lesson in badges? No. All right, I trust you. Now remember, you need flower points to use this power jump technique. Remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the way, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Well, yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario, Mario. Please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have stirred away on me, though. Tell you, this lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. This so? Oh, here's an idea. Goombario, perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child. 
your time, Sir Apollos. I'm sure Mario will agree you should accompany Mario. I think I misread something in there. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. Hey, little buddy. Oh, look at her there. Nice. Uh, oh, good Mario. Hey, Mario, uh, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get rapey. Weepy and eepy. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. Uh, but wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Ma, or no, Mom! I got to go with Mario. I promise when I come back, I'll bring home souvenirs. Oh, my little baby! I can't believe you're going out into the world with Mario. Now you listen. You be a good boy, you hear? Don't cause Mario any trouble. I know, Mom. Sheesh. I'll be good. Don't Mario, you mind you, ma'am. Wear a sweater when it's cold. Don't be picky about your food. Don't stop fights. Be polite. Don't boast about all the things Goompa taught you as if you already knew them. And remember. And... Mom always needs me. Now hush. Now hush, Mario, please take good care of my sweet little Goombario. Sure. Let's go back. I think this is where I was found. But let's just check. I think something pops up here later, but right now it's just empty. Right to the toad house. Up. The Toad House's slogan is refresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired, a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a nap? Make yourself comfortable and enjoy your stay. Taking naps. In this economy, ain't got no time for naps. Did you sleep well? Take care now. There, yeah, there it is. Z does a little. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's not fair. Mario always gets to do all the fudge stuff. Mario, when I grow up, can I go have fudge too? Maybe someday. But not today. Go to hell, it's all that matters. Stay healthy no matter what. Don't overwork yourself. Take a rest with your. Weary. Hey, Goombario! I expect that you'll become a fan of standing in Goomba by the time you return. Alright, let's save. Talk to Papa. Dad, did you hear? I'm going out adventuring with Mario! Make you proud, Dad, I swear it. Just wait! Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. Now you'll be a great help. It's a good thing you've spent so much time training, eh? Now do your old goompa pa proud. I will. I swear it. Oh, I don't think I hit. Hey, what's this? Goomnut. Three flower points. Here we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. The kind mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. Notice you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. You better put that thing on before you go. Oh, you right. You right. Cool. Ooh. Man, these pause menus are leggy. So that's the party member. That's just to turn that on and off. That's items. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. 
There's also a toad house, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a risk. A big tree near my house is a great place to get goom nuts. You gotta go nuts for goom nuts. What it? Give me another one. Guess not. Onwards! Beware of Goombas. Oh! Sneaky. Hey, Mario! During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Shop-pop! In this case, not a problem. All right. Whoa! All right, just gotta pop him. And then the head bonk. Pow pow. And eat one damage. Yeah, this is the point where it's just gonna be kinda, kinda grind. Until there's like the reaction commands, which is honestly like still quite a bit away. It's, uh, it's gonna be kind of a slog. But. I don't mind, man. I don't think there's much here. I, there's like some stuff that you gotta come back when you've got the better hammer, but there isn't a ton of coming back to Goomba Village. If I remember correctly. Could be wrong, though. Pretty sure something pops up in the spot that I landed in. I don't remember what, though. Ow. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna be practicing. Taking him down. Take him out. Shop boat. Shaboop. And Shaboygan. Yeah, but what else? Yeah, uh. I got, I, I picked up the Lorcana stuff because I was like, there's a game shop near me in my town, and I was just like, they only do like Magic the Gathering. <sighs> I wish they had like a board game night, or like maybe I could set up like, you know, an RPG group, because they do have like a pretty sweet RPG space. But, uh, my brother, Satch, he was like, why not get into the the game though? And it, I it, I was just like ah, I'm not really that big on it, but honestly, yeah, he convinced me like why not? I don't hate the game, and it's like there is live tabletop action happening in my town. What good does it do me to uh, avoid it just because? Oh, I'm not super into that game. And I went in and I was asked him about, you know, oh, how does Commander work? And it was, you know, complicated. And I was like, Ugh, I don't know. But then I saw that they had the Lorcana starter decks. And I was like, oh, Lorcana. You know, I saw some packs and didn't get it before. And I kind of regret that. And they're just like, oh, it's so good. And they, like, explained it. And I was like, they were like, yeah, every Sunday we do Lorcana League. Where you just come in and play people casual. And they have, like, some point system where it's like, you know, teach somebody to play, if you you get points, if you win, you get points. Um, if you just wear, like, because it's a Disney TCG, if you wear a Disney shirt, you get points. Um, which is, means I need more Disney shirts. I got one, I got, like, a shirt that's basically like the tour shoot shirt for the Powerline tour that uh, Max and Goofy go to at the end of a Goofy movie. Um, uh, so I was like, yeah, that looks pretty fun. I like Disney well enough. So, and looking at it, hey, hey, hold it right there. Yo, yeah, you suspicious guy. Don't move. Ah, you Mario! I knew it. You got go past you, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goba King. That's right. 
I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, a red Goomba, and my brother, a blue Goomba. Let's get him, blue Goomba. Oh, yeah. Let's do it, my red brother. Uh, they did specify, in terms of Disney shirt, that it has to be actual mainline Disney. They were like, you can't wear a Star Wars shirt, or a Pixar shirt, or a Marvel shirt. It's like, that's, you know, that's fair. Mario, how would you like some of this? Oof. Oof. Um, I presume, like, the shows would make sense, especially, like... They're incorporating more of the like Disney Afternoon stuff in this third set coming out, so there's gonna be more. There's gonna be Ducktales cards. There's gonna be Tailspin cards. Some other stuff. I hope they do Gargoyles at some point. I would love to have some Gargoyles cards. Uh, my favorite Disney movie is Blue Blue Goomba. Oh, my little brother, you'll pay for that, Mario. My favorite Disney movie is uh, Great Mouse Detective, and there we got a bunch of cards of that. Does Big Hero 6 count? I don't think so. Because Big Hero 6, I'm pretty sure... ...is Marvel. I don't know, I'll ask him about it. Because I'm gonna go in, basically, every Sunday they do the League, so I'm just gonna be going regularly. But then that was the thing, is I was, like, looking up, because I was like, oh man, I got the Star Decks. Where else Zor sells Lorcana? I want to get some, like, booster packs. Um, and as I was looking it up, it's like, hey, this other game shop in your town has them. And I'm like, what? Other game shop? My town is not big enough for two game shops. What are you talking about? And I looked it up. And yeah, not only is there another game shop in my town that's been around for like three years. But, um... They... They're sponsoring a convention that's right near my town, like 40 minutes away. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go over now. Uh, they also do TC- they do Lorcana tournaments, which I'm gonna probably hold back on doing tournaments until I get decent at the game. Uh, based on Marvel property. That's true. I don't know. Is it- is it Disney or is it Pixar? Because they did specify that Pixar doesn't count. Uh, a trick! A trick! Got it. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's not Pixar, then I think it's allowed. I mean, that's the thing, it's just a bonus as well. Like, I can technically wear whatever shirt I like. Yeah. As long as I'm wearing a shirt. I think that's about the line that they gotta draw. Um, but yeah, this other game shop has a board game night every Wednesday. They do board games, and they're like, yeah, it's like a small group of like five to six people. I'm like, that's awesome. I'm 100% gonna do that. So now I have Lorcana League every Sunday. I got board games every um, Wednesday. And I, and I got a convention I'm going to tomorrow, so a lot of big, exciting things. I didn't realize there was, like, as much of a tabletop community around here as there is. So that's awesome. I didn't want to go all the way down to Jacksonville, because that'd be such a pain, but, like, it's like a ten-minute drive. Awesome. Can go by Elbus or El Beta Shop. Hello? Hey look, Mario! See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Uh oh. Oh no. Who's was it? Yeah, I'll ask him when I go in on Sunday to be like, is this the, does this count or not? Cause like, I would say Wreck-It Ralph probably doesn't, definitely counts because it's not Pixar for sure. But, I don't know. 
I'm gonna guess anything that would be on one of the Lorcana cards should count. Uh, which includes Wreck-It Ralph, for sure. Mm. Uh, although I think they also have some Toy Story stuff, so I don't know. So, Mario. So, Mario. It's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no further. You hear that, Mario? No further. No on step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Well, and King Goomba is uh, really huge. He's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Uh, ready to meet where I'm at? My wrath, Mario. The better by. Uh, most unexpected thing on the Lorcana cards so far. Hey, I'm up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario. You think maybe we ought to take over the Goomba Brothers? Take out the Goomba Brothers first, don't you think? It must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Ah, shoot. I meant to eat an item. Well, should be okay. Uh, the most interesting thing on the Lorcana cards is the Lorcana specific ones. One that I thought was kind of interesting was there's. Because they have, like, characters that'll have different versions, and it'll just be like, Winnie the Pooh, you know, silly little bear, or Winnie the Pooh, stuck in a hole, whatever. One of them is Winnie the Pooh Honey Wizard, and he's, like, sat regally atop, like, a beehive, and it's, like, floating in the air, and it kind of, it goes pretty hard. Honestly, and I think, I believe the first, um, the first run had, like, a playmat of that, and I totally get it. Uh... Yeah, I'm surprised Great Mouse Detective has, like, such a presence. This new, um... This newest set, there's, like, a lot more of them. But, like, yeah, I am just kind of kind of surprised that it popped up as much as it did. Uh, there's a... I just got, in one of the packs that came with the starter packs, an item sardine can, which is a reference to the Rescuers. Which is, that's another, that one's pretty obscure. Uh, there's like a lot of weird AU stuff going on as well, where it's like, in this new one, it's like the Floodborne, so they're like slightly different. So like, there's like Cogsworth, but he's like really old, so he's Cogsworth Grandfather Clock. Or there's um, Cinderella, Knight in Training, and she's like actually learning to be a knight. And it's like, yeah, really interesting little things that just slightly skew it, you know? Not a ton, but a little, little skew. Uh... Hmm, which one should we go for? Let's go with HP for now. <coughs> I think I'll just do them even. What? what, what? Oh, God, I lose. Yeah, I know we could do it. Cool, victory! Give me that star piece. Uh, I think the most interesting thing is that the artwork on the current booster packs uh, has like Raya of Raya and the Last Dragon like front and center. Um, and there's like two Raya cards. It's like a, there's, it has like zero representation. Also like, I'm sure there's people who like Raya, but it, I, I don't think I've heard one person mention it since it came out. It was really kind of a dud of a movie. Ah, uh, Mario, go fighting a lot. I almost wonder how I are. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, uh, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it! Oh, no! He's going down. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, 
Oh, that's a good... Is there black culture? I think there might be a reference to the Horned King. But yeah, I don't think I've seen a black cauldron. Obviously no song at the south. But that's not shocking. I don't think I saw a Dumbo, which is surprising. There's not a lot of Peter Pan, just a little bit. There's a lot of Snow White. Um Hmm. The yeah, the current deck I'm running, it's mostly based around the seven dwarves because they like all buff each other. Uh, as a set, and there's the Duke from Cinderella, the like the one who's like going out trying the shoes on the girls. Um, his ability is that he gives a plus one attack to anybody who's tagged as king, queen, prince, or princess, which is like a lot of the cards, including Hercules. Hercules is tagged as prince, so it hits him too, and he's like a heavy hitter card. So that's my current plan: is having basically like a royalty and dwarves deck. Um, the main rule is that there's six colors of ink, basically. So it's amber, amber, amethyst, steel, ruby, emerald, sapphire. But you're only allowed to have two colors in your deck. You can have just one, but you're not allowed to have more than two, which is, you know, probably for the best. Like, as much as you're allowed to have more than two in Magic the Gathering, like... Having more than two is, you know, you're just kind of diluting things. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. Got a little bit of Goompot in there. Zipping, zapping. Wonder what will happen. Um, One of the cool things is that the companion app for Lorcana is pretty great. It like has all of the cards listed. You can like catalog all of the cards you own. There's like a pretty decent deck builder. It has a lore tracker, which lore is basically like the uh, the victory points that you get. So it just makes playing the game a little bit easier. Ooh, sub shroom. Nice. Um. I feel like there's a secret somewhere. Hmm. Guess not. Um, so yeah, I'm going Amber Steel. It's like Amber is the one that's like a lot of buffs and like teamwork stuff. And Steel is just like the super aggressive, like, beef slapper guys. Just like... Not a ton of effects and abilities, just real powerful. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp! Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness, try to be calm. Koopa King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes. Very good. <laughs> Ah! Oh, it feels good to laugh. By the way, Kirby Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Is that one at, uh, Koopa Brothers Fortress, right? Mario somehow reaches there. Can the Koopa Brothers defeat him? King Bowser. Oh, wait, no. Wait, is it? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hey, yeah! Here come. Uh. Hold on, so that'd be Raph, so it'd be. Here come the Koopa Brothers. 
Uh huh. Oh yeah. Way to cool, so cool. Gabby Coop. Are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic. Even he couldn't beat Mario. There's also I I'm surprised at how much um how much Princess and the Frog is in Lorcana. Like of the two packs I opened, I got two Dr. Facilier's and I got like three Dr. Facilier's in the starter deck. Which I'm glad because he's my favorite. Like one of my favorite Disney villains, Radigan being the favorite, but he's a close second. But yeah, surprising. And it's like they got Prince Naveen. They got several Tianas. Maybe it's because it's a princess movie. I don't know. Pshaw, sure. get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. Hold on. It's like, hey, yo, I'm from Brooklyn. That's it. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together we can put the hurt on Mario in second foot. Excellent! That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros! Show our king that special attack you do so well. You yes, smell That's true. Yeah, it was that, and there was the Winnie the Pooh movie. Um, what I want to get, I want to get all of the Great Mouse Detective cards. I want to get all of the uh, Emperor's New Groove cards, which is quite a few. And I want to get, there's uh, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy Musketeer. So there's one of each for the Three Musketeers version. And I want to get all three of them because that is a super underrated uh, Disney movie. If you haven't seen Mickey, Donald, Goofy, the Three Musketeers, go check it out. It's pretty good. It's like straight to DVD, but it was like really, really solid. Ready, everybody. Ooh. Ooh, that, this is, oh, would you like it, King Bowser, how was it? Oh, yeah, excellent, really, I'm not easily impressed either, Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack, we'll take him, King Bowser, by the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress, Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. Uh, you know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads, get back to the fortress, and guard that star spirit! Okay, anyways... The sleepy sheep. Bay. I don't really use sleepy sheep too much, but it's good to have. For the occasional strategic advantage. I thought it was kind of depressing. The prince cards get like no love. Cause it's like Hercules, it's like Hercules gets some stuff, but that's because he was the lead of his movie. Prince Naveen, Prince Eric, the prince from Snow White, like they get one card and it's a pretty standard one in every case. Got the hammer throw badge. All right, can I actually equip that? Uh, Yeah, I think that's a little bit better than the power jump for right now. Mario, so glad you're okay. Town is in an uproar. Princess kidnapped. Very castle uprooted. It's a uh, bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Well, when you put it like that. Oh no, doom, danger. Princess Peach's castle has flown way up into the sky. No castle. Horrors. Only a hole remains. Our beloved castle. Where is it? Spread the word. Outrage! Outrage! No, I gotta wait until I get sushi later. The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. 
Everyone in this town is suffering, and you know, my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. You're both wicked toads. Yeah, one card that I'm interested in working around is uh, actually Hiram Flaversham, the inventor from Grave Mouse Detective. Partially because I like him, but also his ability is pretty interesting. It, like, works around items. Because, like, basically, right now there's three kinds of cards. Well, there's four kinds of cards. There's character cards, which are the main ones. There's abilities, which are... Or, no, there's actions, which are just, like, your spells. You're just, like, insta cast ones and then there's items which are just like your lingering effects and then there's songs which are basically actions but they have requirements so that a specific character can sing them so it's like if you have a five cost character you can play them for free you know rather than having to spend on them because disney it's fun oh salutations you are mario are you not of course i know who you are i'm the wise toad rusty pleasure meeting you as you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Can I go upstairs? I cannot. Um, anybody else out here? Oh. Secret? No, no secret. Burp, burp. Can't hit it. Won't hit it. Hey, Mario. Did you know you can carry up to ten items? When you can't carry any more items, it's a good idea to go to a shop like this and have some old items for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> you don't have it. To the degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. <laughs> I have it. Fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. And one bad toad. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go home through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. Enter the pipe is staying on the edge and pushing down on the control stick. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? Yep. Well? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He's going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. Above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's closed. A letter just arrived, saying the master will return soon. We will train again, soon. Oh, these three. Beach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What, what'll become of Princess Peach and the others who are in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared. I, Felicity, am so scared. Mm, Nintendo 64 water. I got recommended recently a playlist that was just like, uh, low poly underwater, lo-fi playlists. It was pretty nice. Uh, welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? Uh, you can buy stuff. Uh... Hold on. I want it. Yep. We're going to sell the sleepy sheep. Don't really need it. Um... Let's get some honey syrup. And some mushrooms. I think I got room for one more. Okay. Uh, uh, oh man, this is so laggy. Is there like a sort option? No. 
No, I'm getting greedy. They didn't have that kind of thing yet. Hey, Mario. Where does you need it on Shooting Star Summit? You never been? Just go through that blue gate there, but right at Peach's Castle. Oh, oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. Whereas if it happened in the center of town, it seemed to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of town. The train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and everyone. Nice. Star piece. Nothing over there. Oh. Wow. So naughty. Oh, wait, yeah. They said to go back to my house. I'm gonna go do that. I do appreciate the zip being on the Z because it means you can just kind of one hand when you're like hopping about. It's a Luigi. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Whoa, Mario, it's you. Oh, good to see you. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well, take care of Mario, okay? Oops, kind of slipped into the... Uh... Goombario accent on my last line. This is why we do multiple takes in the voice acting business. Ding. You guys just got some pipes. Nothing, huh? Well, what's inside? Here's the box where the letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Oh, I can do something with that square later, but I don't remember. I think it's when I get the ground pound. Talk to you again. Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. I gotta say, I like how elegantly this adapts the Mario like the fact that your XP is always 100 star points and it's just how many star points you get that changes the world is so well built oh man I'm not even really into turn-based RPGs normally but like this one it's quality stuff a bunch of star summit there are these two siblings named Mer lovely and Merlot Mer lovely tells fortunes she's really good at finding badges or star pieces when you take star pieces to Merlot, you'll trade them for badges. This you can help you, you know? You ought to go meet them. The building with the spinning roof is Merlon's house. He's weird. He also happens to be as stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. You can read the stars. He even predicted that you'd come back safe and sound. See that blue pole in front of the post office? It's a road sign. You can find out what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. What am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all the signs you see. Nothing. Did I talk to you? I think I did. Hey, Mario. Where it is you need a Sheen Star Summit? Oh, you never been? Just go through the blue gate there and bear right at Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. Look at Minty. Always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. 
Just watching her from distance makes me happy. Water and dirt, sunshine, power. Beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. Heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, Babulbs have the only known seeds. This is what Babulb looks like. Find a Babulb. Could you uh, get seeds for me? Plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Okay. What's up? Oh, what's up, guys? Hey, mister. You're a customer, aren't ya? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Uh, Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toadtown. Nah, I'm still setting up, though. Uh, I'll see you back in here when we open all night. It's frighteningly close to my, uh... I want for these guys, or oh, maybe not these guys. It's dangerous going out there. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. No. Wait. Be. No. No go. Sorry, but no. <laughs> I love that they sass you if you try and sleep when you already have full health. Just like, really? Serious? Okay. Merlon is out! Hmm. What's up? Can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Well, it's in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Uh, I'm hitting the ground like that because sometimes there's hidden panels that have a star piece. Just FYI. Pretty sure there's actually one like right, right in here somewhere. This purple ground, there's gotta be one. I swear, there's one somewhere out here. Hmm. I know it's around here. I mean, it's gotta be. Right. Maybe I need the better hammer before you can do it. I've seen speedrunners play this and like, they're like surgeons with the zip. You know, the exact angle to hit every time to go exactly where they need to go. Oh, hello. It's empty. Hello? Ah, my, my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Right, she's just for hints. So we don't need that. Um. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. The biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Oh, which badges do you want to swap for? This is his voice I'm doing. Right. Ooh, HP drain would be pretty good. You know, I'm good for right now. Ah, did you change your mind? I see. I'm 
That was like uh, during a a recent thing. I was playing. I was playing a duck character, and I had come up with this like. I was gonna do this voice for him, more or less, something like that. Maybe a little younger, cause he was supposed to be like a, you know, like a young teen. Uh, and then it, we got onto the session, the Zoom call for the session. I'm like, yeah, we don't want like any kind of speech impediments or anything. Obviously, like trying to avoid Donald or Daffy. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> I came up with something, but it was like. Yeah, that just like totally, uh, that's, you know, that's what happens. They, they tell you in voiceover not to uh, get too married to what voice you want to do or anything because versatility is the name of the game. That was definitely a situation where I need to have something in my back pocket. To go back to. Or, yeah, I don't need to jump. I can just whoop, 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 Hold on, let's go all the way around. See if there's something secret around the backside. Nope, guess not. All right, cutscene time. Welcome, Mario. Uh, welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We are the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of the time. Star Rod is powerful beyond belief in Granny Wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I like to trance Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, Star has ignored such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. Seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it, for, use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Uh, last, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Though it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. Using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope. And we will. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be all right? I'm really worried about her. Oh, jeez. Big dramas. Oh, snap. Sniffel. Mario's probably out. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me.
<laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes. It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treat us Coopers over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant for quests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cast trouble. <laughs> oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Hello? Oh, who is that? What's up? Oh, Princess Peach, pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Well, I mean, you say not me. But you're, you're stocky, don't you? How'd you get here? I came from Starhaven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wish there's somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Is my wish. Go right now and takes a star rod back from Bowser. Okay. Think you can do it? Oh, uh, sorry. So much for an office star like me. By the way, the honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Uh, please ask for something easy. Something a small star could do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't grant that wish either. I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to Sky Diego, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Uh, don't be sad, Twink. Uh, Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Uh, Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This... This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it. Princess Peach, I'll find a mushroom king just as quick as I can. Oh, wait. Twink! Wait one second. Can you also... Just a Mario set. I'm fine and it shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course! Oh, tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Yeah, no, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Mario, where are you? <coughs> I'm working on it, lady. Give me a minute. Whoa! Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's Mario, aren't you? I think the stars have failed you. How'd you do? I'm um, Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. There, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. 
That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. That is yours. You could use the action command. Yeah, take a moment to explain what the action command is. No. This is poor Mario. Think you want to know about this? No. Okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Uh, who is that? It's a junior troop, I think. Here you are! No, it's a magic Koopa. What? You can't be. Are you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kimmy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a phrase. Here I come! Bop, bop. Nice. Got him. Alright. Doing pretty good. Whoops. Ooh, I was never great at dodging. Oh, but I took him out. So that worked out. Easy peasy. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that she'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm just strong enough to really help her release. I can tell you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Hey. I forgot some. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message for Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. A brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. All right, I'm gonna hop over here, heal up and save, and then I will take a break. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He was in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go to meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but uh, here you are. It was rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Maybe here? I don't remember. I'll figure it out eventually. Alright. All right, save completed. I'm gonna take a break. So, uh, you know, don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I will be our back with more Paper Mario in just a bit. And uh, just one second. I am gonna run an ad, but that's just so that it turns off auto, auto roll. Uh, the people coming in, so. Apologies, but you know, gotta go for it sometimes. Um, I was gonna. Hmm. How do I? There it is. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna do a uh, ninety-second ad. And it's just to turn off the pre-rolls. All right, don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. Be our back in just a bit. Okay, okay.
Yo, I'm back. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a good time. I like Pippa Mario a lot. It's a good game. Oh, my hoodies fell off the back of my chair. Dang it. Pick them up in a minute. Ballard is out. Okay. All right, talk to you guys. Let me see if I can talk to Merlon. Why'd you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Uh, wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe... No, yes! It must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard! When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up in Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened, suddenly, great, appeared, and I, standing face to face, and far away, the pious was, raised me up. Amazing. Young then, I believe it. Our hearts were... And... Then, so, and that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, are you listening to me? Oh, all right. So, anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. To reach the Koopa Brothers fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Come again? Strange toads blocking the side of the toad town. That shouldn't be. It's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just eat some banana bread. Oh, these are the strange toads you were talking about. I told you you can't pass. Take off! Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? Uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. crack a -coom. Ah! Oof, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Brothers. How, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat. For now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout. The Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. <laughs> Chapter 1 Storming Koopa Brothers Fortress. Hey, yo, get got. Bonk, bonk. 
Bonk bonk. Bonk bonk. Bonk bonk. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta work out the time. Is it the P button? Maybe I'm using the wrong button to dodge. Hmm. Hmm. I am uncertain. Crap. Did a bad job. Yes. Okay, there my timing was just wrong. It's like earlier than I expected to be. I expect it to be like right as you touch him, but it's like it's earlier than that. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nice. Boink, bonk. Ooh, didn't even knock the wings off. Nice. And that's what we call a skills. It's not worth that well. Get it, get it. Yes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That bread. That banana bread. Bow. Are you like me now? Then, well, we'll just use the pal block. Got him. And we'll get one more. Oops, there we go. Oh man, it's so nice. I played the NSO stuff with just like the regular Switch controller and it felt fine, but like, You just can't beat the feeling of like playing with a proper N64 controller for N64 games. Like the controller is just so specific, you know? Like nowadays they're pretty homogenized, right? It's like you get the two sticks, you get the four directions, you get the four buttons, and you get, like, the triggers and stuff. But, like, back in the day, Nintendo had such wacky controllers. And this one was so particular. Ah, dip. Well, that's okay. Nice. Yeah, let's tattle. This is a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes in their head. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt. Or uh, even paralyzed. Oops. Nice. <laughs> Oh, 
Um. Nailed it. Huzzah. Whip. Ba bow. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know, you. That's the thing is, like, if you play a CDI game with a modern controller, you're just getting a fundamentally different experience. Because, like, the reality is, is half of what those games were like. Similarly, it's like when people try and play old pixel games with, uh, oops. When people try and play pixel games on modern TVs and they just make them super tight and clean, it's like, they knew that the resolution was going to be funky, and so they, when they designed those, that pixel art, they did it in the interest of it, like, kind of blurring and blending together. If you do it all perfect and pretty, it's gonna be, uh... I mean, it's gonna look nice and pretty, but it's not gonna really look like it was meant to, you know? And I will say this, I think the Nintendo 64 controller is pretty comfortable. It'd be nice if the out outer uh, stems were like angled outwards a little bit more. But like, it fits well in the hand. And like, I can pretty easily now as an adult, I can reach my thumb all the way over to A and B from the middle stick. So I could play a lot of this game with one hand if I really wanted to. I don't really want to, but you know. It's an option. What's up, bud? Oh, hey, thanks. Hunt is a rook. No, I got a goom nut. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Crank it back into shape. Nah, no, guess not. That's true. Well, that's the thing is that the Z on the N64 acted as a shoulder button when you were using it in that configuration. So it's like... Yeah, it's, it's a little weird in concept, but the idea is that you basically have three different controller options, right? Although it was usually going to be the two right prongs or the two outer prongs, and most of the time it was just the two right prongs. Only a couple games like Kirby 64 used uh, the D-pad, but then there's some that use the two left prong, the two left prongs, and that's really interesting. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Whoa! Give it back. Oh no, stupid fuzzy! Get back here with my shell! Uh... I think... You know what? It's fine. Uh... Oh, yeah. Just bop it. Well, you're the best. Thank you very much. Got him. Easy peasy.
I'm gonna watch your overall. Are they gonna steal my pants? Rather they did not. Yeah, I don't know. People are just like, oh, what is this thing? How am I even supposed to? It's like you hold two prongs. Easy. You only you don't need to hold all of them all the time. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Thanks, Mario. The show is made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Or how cool do I look? Uh, Koopa Leaf. I don't got room for the Koopa Leaf. I think you get back though. It's in here. What's up? Supposedly, these Bob Bombs recently ran away from the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. The fuzzies are run wild. Poor little Bob Bombs. Huh? Me? Uh, I don't leave my house because I can't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They probably take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I just stay here and listen to music. But we're Bob Bombs. We just ran away from the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Uh, we thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. We must listen. The Koopa brothers in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. We'll never ever go back to work in such a terrible place. Oh jeez, wow. You say so. To shell. Okay, and then we will check some honey syrups. Okay, just like one of each is fine. Get these dang fuzzies out of here. Give me that leaf. Fuzzies won't be me. Behold my power! Go! <laughs> what was that? Superpower, was it? Got yeah, like, just a trick to this one. Gotta like get him in the air or something? I don't remember. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, stop. Stop scaring him away. hang out here until he gets scared right in front of me. Just gotta be zen. about running. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
I just gotta say, also, having the, uh... Having the notches for the analog stick, where you can actually feel it, like, clicking through all of the different positions, feels very nice. As far as, it, compared to modern analog sticks, it's like, they're, they're fine, very sensitive or whatever, but, like, that tactile capability is very nice. I might have known you're so clever, Mario. Oh, you know what? I think I need the the Koops, the guy I'm actually gonna unlock here. Gotta use him for this. This fuzz is where their mischief never end. My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? Well, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. Who knows if it's true or not? He runs his mouth a lot. Yeah, there's actually, um, there's a mod you can do for the N64 controller, or really any N64 controller, that replaces the analog stick with the GameCube one. It's supposed to be really nice, but, you know, I don't need to do it yet. Once this analog stick starts getting loose, I'll probably do that. Oh yeah, that would be very nice to have that physically. Wow. Wow. Talking crap, Mario. What's your book collection like, huh? That's the world coming to, and a Kofa can't even step outside for fear of fuzzies. I've lived many, many years, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm not kind of alive. I... Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell. Period. Way too embarrassing. I mean, you're out right now. Problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So, if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? Begging you. Hey, Mario. It looks like he's in a bad way. You gotta help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like, whoop! Hey, oh. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here, you salty sailor. Come on now. You stinky stank. Yeah, alright. Come get it if you can. Yeah, where I'm hiding. Woo! Yeah, well, not bad, chop. That was just a warm up. Yeah, guess where I'm hiding. Blip. Yark, yark, you got me twice. How's it been luck? Now I'm serious. Yark, guess where I'm hiding. That one. Oh, I got uncle, uncle. Here, take this stupid shell. You're the top for me. I don't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. Anyway. 
Oh, sub Cooper. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. We already get the shell back. Oh yes, yes! This is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Got my shell back, uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time! Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think... Could I... Oh, please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? You want to replace me with this much more useful guy? Oh, yes, yes! I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Cooper joined your party. Oh, yeah. I changed my mind, sugar. How about a fight? Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, something I like to call a fire flower. Thank you, thank you. Badge over here to get. So let's get it, get it, get it. HP plus. Nice. All right, back to the house. Y'all got such tiny houses. Oh. Guess you already got your uh, thing, huh? I mean, I tried to help. Koopa Leaf. Always nice to get a little leaf, you know what I'm saying? Sip, sip, sip. It's, uh, I don't think we gotta heal up. Oh, we do! Oh, when you get the 5 extra HP, it doesn't give it to you, it just raises your max. Weird. Water is good for you. God, this soundtrack is good. Oh, sneaky boy. Got him. Uh, let's you know, switch it out. The power shell is also at this point in the game very nice. It's, it's just. Anytime there's a game like this where it's got this positioning, it's really nice to have somebody who can attack all of the enemies at once. Thank you. 
Nice, nice. Okay. And we get that zip. That zap. The what? Oh, I hit the button. I guess a little late. Actually, I'll just save time to go for it. Hey, yeah. Oh, that's not a badge. Let's see. Uh, I see. I like that the bridges come in in different ways. Though, the first one is still my favorite. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Whoops. Gotta get the timing of that a little better. These guys aren't so tough, though. You get them on their backs, it's like, who even cares? Oh man, going to a, I haven't been to a convention so long. Last one was, man, five, six years ago. I used to go to them a lot, so it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I gotta actually get set up tonight. I presume there's gonna be people playing Lorcana, so I gotta probably build up my deck, figure out how that's gonna work. Um, pack, uh, let's see, pack water, pack snacks, um, pack tissues, hand sanitizer, oh, what else should I get? Which page should I take? I'm really, like, thinking it out now. Dang it. Messed it up. Nice try, pal. Got to get up pretty early in the morning to get one over on this kid. Uh, no, save that. Oh, well, just take a Koopa Leaf. Chaw on that leaf for a while. There we go. Oops. Yep, there it is. Gotta stomp on their soft underbelly. And the way things are timing out, I should be up a level by the time I get to the fortress. I think... Fortress is not very long, so I think I'll probably do that and then call it a night. That's a good spot to stop. For this point in the marathon. Let's raise our badge points. And then bring back the close call and the hammer throw. Especially because now we're getting many more uh, airborne enemies, so. The throw will be pretty useful for that. That is bomb it. Yeah, as a kid, I had this on N64, and I got to the point right when you get bomb it and saved in there. And then our storage unit that we that my N64 and all my games were in was uh, robbed. So, 
lost lost that game. Never got to go any further. Whoa, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in a world of her. Mario's here already. I got to lead her. Right, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. What's up, bro? Yeah, it can be kind of awkward getting the first strike because you got to be able to tell if they're actually coming for you or not. curious because it's a general con as well like the the dub actors that they got as guests implies that it's like a kind of anime focus but not really I don't know I think I'm mainly just gonna like hit up the vendors hall first see what kind of Lorcana stuff they have and then uh swing out to the uh There's not a ton of, like, actual events happening. There's, like, tournaments. So, you know, it's like, on the day, it's magic tournaments. Lorcana is only being run on the other two days, so. Plus, I'm, like, brand new to the game, so I'm not gonna be in the tournament yet. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll see what kind of tabletop room they got. See if anybody's playing Lorcana in there. Hang out. It's only like eight hour day that they're actually open for the con and I only paid for Saturday, so it's gonna be uh, pretty chill, I think. I don't think it's gonna be a huge con. It's not a, a super populated area. They did not really advertise it very much because I genuinely only heard about it because I checked out that game store, uh, game store's website. <laughs> Ha! Huh, let's see the great Mario get any further now. Yee! Mario! You, uh, don't try any. You'll still ever fight your way through this fortress. Uh, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See it. Whoops. Well, could be worse. Ba bam Nice. Um, yeah, what I was gonna say earlier about the Lorcana app, though, is if you're interested, you can download the app on iOS and I think Android as well. Um, and, oh, nice. Uh, and you can just, like, look at all the cards in there. And, like, you can zoom in and see it all happen. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet app. Like, yeah, at the at first, apparently, they kind of screwed up and have, were doing a bad job with the community, but they, like, really got their stuff together. And now they have great community support. So that's cool. Dang it. I can never get my timing right on that. Power bounce. Oh, yeah, the power bounce is good. Okay, let's switch out. Switch that out. And we'll actually, uh, get Koopaly. Whoa! Ah, dip. Ah, dang it. Okay. Which 
I can pretty much get the power bounce going forever because it's just a rhythm game for a single rhythm. Like you're just keeping time, basically. Damn. Gotta figure out the timing on those. Gotta figure out the timing on those. I am getting that cash. So it's not so bad. Well, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I wanna thank you. And I wanna thank you. This is a beautiful song. Eminem made everybody think that it was a very sad song, but it's actually just kind of like... Uh... Bittersweet. Dang it, I got the first two. Y'all saw it, I got two. Boink, bank. Oh yeah? Well, what happens if I go up here first? Yeah. Boink. Oh, it's rumbling. Uh, that's the other thing, is having this N64 controller. I never had a rumble pack as a kid, so this is the first time I'm getting to experience most of these games with the rumble function, which is really cool. Is this the wo ooh. Is this the room? The gauntlet? Yeah. All right. I remember this giving me so much trouble as a kid, because I was very bad at the action commands. Just eat that super shroom real quick. Whoops, I meant to hit it with the with the goodness, but I guess it didn't hit it with the goodness. Hold up, let's shell toss at that guy. Oh, I missed the command. Ba bow. And Zabao. Ah, tip. I was looking to chat. Got distracted. Bow. Yeah, this is actually exceedingly easy, but I was very little when I played this before. think, man. This was only a little more than 20 years ago. We've come so far. And at the same time, we've tried so hard. But in the end, eh, it doesn't even matter. It's a little late on that, I think, but it counted. Bow bow! Get out of there. Get out of the air. Ah, oh, crap. Too early. Think. Dunk. Now stay down, you... Also, I had no, re aside from Pokemon, I had very little experience with RPGs, so I didn't realize that you could, like, buy items. Which probably would have helped a lot, because I kept going, cramming through without any item whatsoever. Nice. Oh, uh, nope. Nice try. Squash. Got to crush them like a soft shelled crab. <sighs> Can I finish this by nine? That's the question. So I got about 52 minutes. 
I could go as late as 9.30, but I don't want to. I want to, want to s try and be done by 9 so that I have time to chill out before uh, I got a call with my family. Zoom call. I do every week. It's kind of a new thing, but I'm very happy. My brothers set it up. And I'm, yeah, super happy that they did, because it's just, it's nice to catch up with everybody. Whoa, 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 okay. That last one is the one where it's just like, just about to be too fast. tough, but it is worth it. It's a lot of coin you get. And unlike some other Marios, the coins have quite a lot of value here. Some Italian wedding soup for the stream. Bleh. Uh, the trapped. Help these fellows, these friends. Uh, maybe soon. Maybe sooner than you think. All right. So we got the key. We're going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. Secret. Save. Oh, and then a good uh, other portion of the front area you can only get after after you get vomit. So we'll hang out for a minute. Oh. Um, yeah, let's knock him down. And these guys are a lot easier to deal with before they get lit. do nothing actually don't want to light them unless I can take them out need to get better at the dodges shaboom ah I think I was a little late on that Nice. Uh, oh, I don't have a key for this. Oh, okay. Now we gotta fall for the trap. Whoa. Gently drift downwards. 
<laughs> Loser, serves you right. You fell for it. Oh, jeez, we chunked. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell, but are you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Vomit. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob -omb. Pleased to meet you. Ooh. Oh, how long do we have to be locked up here? I'm losing hope. I'm so hungry, so mad, so sad, and mad, angry. I'm filling with rage. I'm really angry now. I want out, out, right now, you hear me, Koopas? Those stinking Koopa brothers worked us way too hard. They're making us work for 25 hours a day, unreal. Nobody's life should be all work, right? I need free time to make my mark in the world. Boom! I'm sorry, I simply will not obey tyrants anymore. Those Koopa brothers can't squash the pride of a bob -omb. So, I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Mm, the ankles, vectors... Ugh, so complicated. My head's going to explode. All of us bob -omb's get locked in got locked in here by the Koopa brothers. Nothing we could do about it. The Koopa Bros used to be cool, but Kami Koopa, whatever. Before they were just typical young guys from Koopa Village, they were nice enough. I think maybe the desire for adventure corrupted them. <gasps> just like Cooper. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Uh, because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa brothers. I was just one of many babombs working here. Those Koopa brothers, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa brothers didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bob because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bob rebellion. I can't think about it. Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place, or what? Pretty please. If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Oh, how nice. Be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Well, Matt joined your party. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do, silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Uh, let me try this one. Puff, puff, puff. Uh, take cover! Oh. Oops. There she goes. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh! Uh, an escape route! Well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Tee! <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else! Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll take along and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little score to settle with those Koopa brothers. Nope, no secret. Yo, what's all that noise? In case you bombs forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, except in the case of emergencies. What in the Mario? What are you doing here? And nothing good, I bet. Everybody get it! Zaboom. Now. Too late.
Yep, too late. Too late. Yeah, it gets a bit tatties. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Got him. Nice. Or no, I gotta go up, 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 up. There we go. Something out here to explode. Yeah, there it is. What I get? Refund. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, very helpful. We'll go and save. Yeah, things start getting tough around the fourth chapter, third or fourth, and fifth, fifth and sixth. Oh my god, it gets real tough. But we got it. We're champions. I believe in us, team. Do you believe in you? You should. Cause you're a champion. How do I get up there? Do I gotta go use this key I just got? That makes sense. Just don't, where would I use it? Upstairs, there was a thing to do. Let's go check that out. There it is. Fortress. The key to the fortress. Ah, yes, then we gotta switch back to... Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Rocket Raccoon. You guys remember that guy? From Guardians of the Galaxies. Nice. Pretty easy, pretty methodical. Pretty chill, you could even say. Oh jeez, we're grinding. Ship, buy him. The bop. Nope. I did a little early. There we go. Nice. 
Ah, dip. Nice. Up, up, Whoa, 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 whoa. I also, you know, I didn't even mention this. Uh, I'm working on a project with uh, my brother, Gabe, who is, I've talked about um, his short film Dry Earth Sheets before, which is on GabrielHenneman.com. Go check it out. Uh, it's great. And yeah, we're working on a thing. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but... Uh, I recorded some stuff for it today, and I've been helping out with some writing as well. So it's it's moving along. It's it's a pretty exciting thing. I very ever since I watched Dryer Sheets, I was like, oh, I really hope I get to work on something with him someday soon. And it is that day. Granted, we're gonna be working on it for quite a while, but you know. We're keeping moving. Now let's knock this guy down as well. Whip. Stomp his belly. Stomp his soft little belly. Scrumpch and bumpch. Oh, there we go. We're getting pretty close. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we gotta go to the roof and do some stuff, but that won't take super long. And the boss fight is like a little tricky, but it's not too bad. It's like the first real boss after the prologue boss, you know? Nice. We're trucking. We're trucking. Keep on moving on. We're trucking. We're moving. Keep on keeping on. Scooting and rooting for some herbs and things. Forage that porridge. Don't do anything that you don't want. No, yeah, that's... That is towards the boss, so we want to go up here first. What? Not dip. Oh, we're going to have to power bounce you. Oh, this sucks. Well, we can deal with him pretty quick at least. Ah, that was annoying. Smash charged. There's little feet going. So fast. So fast. There they is. Whoa, 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 Mario. I wanna bet you'd make it this far. <sighs> Don't get smug, pal. Just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys! Open fire! So, we mostly wanna just avoid those if we can. Because they just kind of wear us out. Like they're not 
the fights themselves are fun enough, but mm, but they're just kind of, you know, I guess grinding wise is probably good. Oh, dip. They're just kind of annoying as well because they're floating like this. I think I'll heal up here and then probably grind some out. So, yeah, I could probably go up a level. If I grind for just a minute on these guys. worked. Nice. Pop. Yeah, we're making good time. Okay, just three more. Should do it. I'm not usually a fan of grinding, but if I'm like this close to leveling up, I'm like, okay, I'll just take a minute. Just for funsies. only going to take us a couple minutes. And, and boom! There we go, and then I do have to fight the cannons, but that's not a very difficult fight. Level up her FP. Sweet. All right, heal up. Save. Ah, dip. Ah, oh, no. I'll just heal back up over here. All right, you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's crack him. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we'll just crack out. Oh, you can't hit him with the bounce. Rip. No. Good, good, good. Ah, well, that's enough. Getting a little sloppy. See, and I am glad that I ground because I would have been slightly under and I wouldn't have been able to get to the bob bombs after. Or the uh, bullet bills. So, that was a good order of operations. Now we're all set for the fight. Against the mouse. All right. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg. 
Oh, Michelle, get off. Wait. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! There it is. Doesn't it look cool? <laughs> Been waiting for you, Mario. <laughs> the strongest and the coolest. Behold, the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. Save for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Save you, Peach. Please watch this out. We. Okay. Yeah. Ba boom. <laughs> I am invincible. You're powerless before me. Oh, yeah. Is that so? That's one. Nice. And this. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny. You can't even touch me. Let's drink some straight maple syrup. Like a freaking sick pad. Oh no! The costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! Come the Koopa Brothers. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. Koopa Brothers special super spinning attack. That's pretty rough. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty tough. Doink, doink. And... Up. Oh, a little early. Oh, yeah. What you? Oh, yeah. Nice. And... Slam! Nice! Ba-boom. Perfect. Uh, something at least. Ba-boom. Knock him over. Whoa! We're going over! Ba boom. Yeah, you gotta be able to one two one.
Oh, red's up. You are the last of your kind. Aw, oh, didn't even do me for one. Here we go. Wamp, pop, wamp. Zip up. And that should do it. Yeah, there we go. 32 experience. dead. Hey, hello? Somebody let us out of here. What was that? Yeah. Who's there? Oh, the mustache one. Hello there. That guy. We did it! End of chapter. So we got through the prologue and chapter one in the first episode. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa brothers at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and, of course, Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. All right. That's going to be a save and quit. That's going to be it for tonight, folks, but they're going to get longer. I'm going to aim to maybe try and do a chapter each time, but, you know, it's going to get tougher and tougher with each one. And we are, as I said, 100%ing this. So thanks for showing up for the first one. Hope to see y'all in the later ones. Uh, I got some other exciting stuff happening with the stream that I'm planning out, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to follow, subscribe, go check out the Discord. Lots to do over there. Uh, if you're into Disney's Lorcana, please go to check out the Discord and tell me what you know about it, because I'm very fresh to it. Only had the game since, like, Wednesday. So a couple days. But, um, yeah, we are going to raid over to somebody, so don't go anywhere quite yet, but thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Okay, let's see who there is to raid over to. Who's live right now? Oh, Noreen. Yeah, Noreen's doing Pal World. Bleh. Um. Oh, Jason Payne James. It's been a while. Cool. We will go to him. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me see if I can... No, it's not letting me raid that way, so we're going to have to raid manually. Jason Payne James. Leaderboard, what's happening here? Where'd my chat go? Or no, I'm doing it. It's slash raid. Oh, I'm out of practice. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to hit the save and quit so it goes back and we can have some music for a minute. There we go. Okay. Cool. Let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your week. See y'all next Friday. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.